पेज फोर्टीन पोएम अ हैप्पी चाइल्ड स्टोरी थ्री लिटिल पेग्स टीचर्स पेजेस यूनिट वन The emphasis in this book is on developing language skills by using the mother tongue in the initial stages. The teacher's encouragement and motivation are very important. Children are curious and love to try things in their own little ways. Do not correct their mistakes. Focus on the process of learning and remember that the child needs to be given activities that are exciting and stimulating the first unit is about introducing the child to a process of learning following the concept from near to far allow them to talk and help them to express their thoughts by use of their mother tongue visuals pictures sketches single word questions and answers as you introduce the text both the poem and the story encourage all the children to participate develop listening skills read the poem story aloud to the children read it with emphasis on clear speech and correct pauses at commas and full stops develop pronunciation let the children read aloud after you make them repeat blow flow glow brick kick stick huff puff stuff exposure to language use sight words in the classroom by putting visuals and cue cards let children read these b a d bad s a d sad b e d bed r e d red b i g big d i g dig c o t cot h o t hot b u n bun s u n sun develop speaking skills 1 encourage children to walk and jump like different animals let them make the sound of huff puff etc with force 2 write two letter words on the blackboard such as am he in is it me my so and start a contextual conversation by saying she is a girl i am a teacher please give me a pencil he is a boy you are so far away it is a warm or cold day etc provide opportunities to children for working and playing together in small groups page 15 it will promote interaction togetherness and team spirit besides encouragement for natural expressions 3 conversation based on role play divide your class into four groups red yellow blue green let each group make a house red a hut blue a flat yellow a bungalow green an igloo Red and blue groups have to talk about all the objects in their houses. Yellow and green groups have to talk about objects around their houses. Method: Each group uses low-cost waste material as for example, newspapers, cardboard, 
grass, leaves, matchsticks, etc. To draw, sketch, construct or act out a scene from their house. Material required. Boxes, old cartons for collecting leaves, twigs. Pencils, spoons, beads, string, etc. Develop writing skills or fine motor coordination. Writing needs practice before it becomes spontaneous and neat. In making the strokes, show the child how to hold the pencil and use it safely. Encourage children to make different patterns or basic strokes by drawing them on the blackboard. Slate paper Put two-letter and three-letter words on flashcards and show them to the children. Let them recognize the words. Raising awareness. Talk about turning of taps and not wasting water.